Hi boys and girls, our book for today is Goldfish Ghost by Lemony Snicket. And we borrowed this book from the Central Skagit Library. Goldfish Ghost was born on the surface of the water in a bowl, on the dresser, in a boys room. For quite some time, he stared at the ceiling. The boys room was pleasant and familiar. But there was nobody there to talk to, so Goldfish Ghost floated out of the bowl and drifted toward the window to find some company. Outside the window was a seaside town. It had a fishing pier, a row of shops, a sandy beach, and a lighthouse everyone said was haunted. At the pier was a great mess of birds who were all excited about the fishing boats. Scree, 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 scree. It was interesting to hear them shriek, but they paid no attention to Goldfish Ghost. They were not good company. When the wind changed, the birds moved on and Goldfish Ghost let the breeze take him into town. The streets were busy with interesting looking people buying sweaters and postcards and pets and groceries, but everybody there was with somebody else, so no one was looking for company. Goldfish Ghost followed a rattly jeep full of loud music and found himself at the beach. None of the bathers even gave him a glance. But floating over the water were the ghosts of creatures who had lived in the sea. They were all very interesting, but Goldfish Ghost did not feel quite at home on top of the ocean. It can be hard to find the company you are looking for. Goldfish Ghost rested atop a beach umbrella and wondered what to do. Eventually it got late, so he decided to head back to the bowl. Another goldfish was there, but she was not a ghost. She seemed nice enough, but she was not good company, and the moon called goldfish ghost back out the window. I've been looking for company, said a voice. It was the ghost of the lighthouse keeper, who had been watching him from the lantern room. Do you live here all alone? asked goldfish ghost. Not anymore, the keeper said, and she took him in her quiet hands and placed him where the light had once shone for sailors at sea. The two ghosts settled in together, looking out quietly at the world. They were very good company. Well, that was a really good book. All right, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great night.